Good morning. Are we live on all the all the forms? Yep. The platforms. All right. Got our black canvas today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As everyone's just tuning in, we're gonna throw some liquid clear on this black canvas. If you don't have any liquid clear, you can use linseed oil or different things. Uh, it's very similar to this liquid clear. So. Let's dip it in. You have to have a wet canvas if you're gonna paint wet on wet, right? Right, babe? Yeah. Why don't you in why why don't you introduce yourself? So my name's Paint with Josh. I've been painting for like four years now, just about. And I started painting with uh, Bob Ross and then sort of started making it up as I went. And uh, just like today, we're gonna make up a painting just out of nowhere. So we're here in Las Vegas. We sell these paintings. My wife, London, has a a uh, Candle store, you can see right down here on the page. So go to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com. Check out her candles. They're much less expensive than the paintings. So if you want to support the channel and uh, you don't you can't afford a painting or you don't want to buy and you don't have any room on your wall, then go over to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com and uh, get yourself some awesome candles. They smell fantastic, trust me. So London's here reading all of your comments. Tell us where you're watching from and what's your favorite food. Hit us with that emoji. Do you like the sushi emoji, your pizza emoji, hamburger emoji, ramen emoji? Like, what's your favorite food? Type that emoji in the comments right now. And then she's going to read out a whole bunch of different favorite foods as we continue to clear this canvas, right? Making it all nice and clear and wet across the entire thing. That's the goal. So, where do we have people watching from, hun? Just give me one second. Facebook just, uh, TikTok just went online. Just went online? Yeah. Okay. So, welcome everybody on TikTok. As you can see, we're putting on our Bob Ross Liquid Clear. Have to have this on your canvas in order for it to be wet and slick. And that way all of our thick oil paints will blend together nicely. Look, I keep picking up color on my, from my easel from last night. That's not what we want. There we go. Mix it all out. Make sure it's all nice and clear. Remember, if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh video, tell us where you're watching from. And use that little, the emojis. What's your favorite food? Do you like the sushi? Do you like pizza? Burgers? Ramen? What other kind of food emojis are there? I don't even know. Tons of them. Yeah. So what's your favorite food emoji? Hit us with the food emoji comments right now. Tell us where you're watching from. And uh, what's your favorite food? John Krasniak's in the house. Hey, John Krasniak, one of the oldest fans, not oldest, but longest time fans. Okay, now we've taken it, covered it in liquid clear, now we're going to wipe off whatever liquid clear we can get to come off of the canvas. Something's wrong with TikTok. Fantastic. What? What's wrong with it? It's like not pushing it out. Look, look on my phone. Okay. Go. You want to just start a new one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is the Wi-Fi on and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Sweet, sweet. You should probably turn off the TV. I forgot to probably do. I forgot to do that. Definitely. Okay. Sheila is here. First time ever tuning in to hey. Pink with Josh Long. Well, yeah. You know, of course, on your first time tuning in, we'll have a bunch of problems. That's just how it goes, right? You never have a perfect show for the brand new viewers. So, thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry for all the technical issues we're experiencing. But we should be up and running now, right, babe? Yes. Much <clears throat> better. All right. So, welcome to Paint with Josh. It's Saturday Sessions with Josh. We'll go through the colors that we have today. Uh, dark Sienna Brown. Our Van Dyke Brown, which are the, a lighter brown and a darker brown. We have our Cadmium Yellow, which is the brightest color yellow that you can get. Uh, thalo Green, Thalo Blue, Alizarin Crimson, Midnight Black, and a big old pile of Titanium White, right? So you don't have to have these exact colors if you don't. Uh, you can use a similar color, right? It doesn't all have to be the same. Now again, if this is your first time watching, we've taken Bob Ross Liquid Clear, covered the canvas, took a paper towel, wiped it off, and then uh, tell me if this is your first time watching Paint With Josh or your 100th time watching Paint With Josh, what, where are you watching from and what is your favorite food? Hit us with those emoji comments, and then we'll get started. Are we ready to go, everybody? Yes, we are. 
Hey, all right, let's put a little bit of our thalo green on the brush. And we'll come down here and just, who knows, anywhere. Wherever you want the green to show, when we start painting with white, that's where you want. And these, these thalo greens, you hear Bob Ross talk about uh, transparent colors. <clears throat> it's a color that when you put it on the canvas, babe, can you spin the, the TV camera so I can see? Yeah. Um, when you put it on the canvas, it remains dark looking. Right? It doesn't stand out as super bright, perfect. A little bit over to the other side. I got it, I got it. <clears throat> all right, it remains dark on the canvas, so it looks kind of black, right? You don't lose all that black color. Now we're taking our green, put it in the, the, the top right corner, the bottom left corner. Now let's go into the blue. Make these gorgeous little scenes like this, and it's such a magic trick when you go to paint with white, especially if you don't let your friends and family see you prep the canvas with the blue and green first, and you just come up to it and you're like, okay, everybody, come on in, let's watch, let's watch Susie paint, right? And then you just start, you go into your white like we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you, and it's just the coolest thing. They'll go, how did you do that? What, what kind of sorcery is this? This witchcraft and wizardry. Oh, it's picking up more paint down there. That's all right. <laughs> it's a show today, it's a show. All right, we're gonna grab a little bit more of the blue. Make sure your entire canvas is covered. Right? Unless it's like all the way around the edge. You don't need anything real far around the side. Now we're going to wash off that old brush, beat the devil out of it. And I'll show you how we clean the brushes in just a second, okay? So don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Oh, my drink is way over there. Okay, I'm going to go into the two brown colors, the dark brown and then the light brown. Right onto the brush, mix them both up. And then we have to decide where our our sandy beach is going to be, right? Maybe back in here, we're going to drop some of that darker brown. Just let it mix in with all of that other color, right? They're all going to mix by the time we get down here anyway. So, just like that, we'll have a little bit of beach, beachy sand. I never like to make it a perfect straight line either, so it's kind of on this downward angle. <clears throat> and that way you keep your perspective right. If you can maintain this angle, then it's a good place for your wave to crash it. What do you think, babe? What do the people think? Looks amazing. Looks amazing. Looks good with the blue on the bottom. All right. So, have we got any comments? Where are people watching from? Oh, they're, they're watching from all over. We've, all over the world. We've uh, got Iraq. We've got uh, Arkansas. We've got... Hello, Matthew. Thank you for saying hi to me. We've got Washington State, we've got Florida, Northern Ireland, Texas, uh, Gulf Shores, Essex, England, Ohio. That's awesome. A lot of fans in Ohio. We're going to do like a big crashing wave with almost no background ocean today. It's going to be awesome. Are we ready? How do they like it uh, vertically like that on Facebook? Are you guys liking that versus the horizontal way where you have to turn your phone? Seems to work great. Okay, let's go into our yellow. All right, I'm gonna dab into the, how many people we got watching, by the way? Uh, 230 on Facebook, 18 on YouTube, and 267 on TikTok. Nice, that's a record number on Facebook, my goodness. You guys are gonna make me nervous, right? I'm gonna take our yellow and white, mixed it just on the brush like that. Let's see how the, oh, 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 I'm glad we caught this. Glad we caught this. Hang on, TikTok, you're going for a ride. There we go. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take that, the cad yellow and the white, on the brush, just like this. You have that one side clean, and that way you don't have too much paint on your brush, right? And who knows, should we do a green moon, or should we do like a bluish green moon? <laughs> right or left? Comment your suggestion. Is it going to be over here? Is it going to be over here? And the people that say over on the right are going to be my most favorite fans, I just want you to know. So, left or right, guys? What do you think? What do you think? Hit us with your comments while I grab my Red Bull. I think you should push the right-hand side of the thing back on with the cameras. Mm. The side view is people are jumping platforms. Okay, can you, can you fix it then? Just leave YouTube where it is, though. I want people on YouTube to see the brush hit the canvas. That's why it's on an angle like that. Okay. But can we fix Facebook a little bit or move it or, yeah. or something? Just um, all right. Did, did we get any comments, right or left? This is a mess today. Just a giant mess today. <clears throat> Perfect. 
Oh, uh, we got right. We got right, 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 right. We got right, 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 right. Perfect. Let's take a little bit of that. And let's just make a little circle, just a mess, right? Leaving the inside dark like that. Now we're going to take our one inch brush. I'm just trying to even out the color. And, but... Okay. Uh, we're going to take our one inch brush. We're going to come around here and we're going to just mix it up. And then mix it and then mix it, pulling it away from that center bit, right? When we had that kind of hole back there, leaving it really dark. And now, just so lightly, going to work in that darkness a little bit of that color. And that way it's not a perfectly dark circle, right? Now we're going to pop a moon back in there. Pop a moon! Where's my... Oh, here we go. All right. So we'll take the filbert brush like this. I'm going to come into the paint. Just like so. Bing, bang, boom. Can you guys see that? And then... I'm going to come up here and go knock the camera over and pop it up into here. Now, I like to push to the left, rotate, spin the brush to the left, and if you can do it well enough, you get this most perfect little circle you've ever seen. Oh, it's fantastic. Look at that. Fantastic. All right. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go clean off this brush, because look at all the green that it's got on that brush, right? All the messiness and nastiness that we have on there. We don't want that to dilute anything else. So we're going to come over here, wipe it off, beat the devil out of it, right? There we go. My God. Okay. And then we're going to come back and fill it up. So let's fill it up with some more color. Come back in here. Just like that. Just on the one corner of the brush. So why do we do that, London? Uh, so that you don't fill the entire brush with paint. Yeah, we don't have too much paint on the canvas, right? So we'll take that, and then we'll just come up and just decide, start writing in cursive. What, who do you love, right? Who do you hate? Whatever. Write in cursive up there. Bam, bam, bam. Little mix, little mess. Leave some dark areas, and that way all the paint can blend down, right? Take that same old brush that we haven't washed yet. Come over here. And just start making circles. Come up above. Spin around the other way. Go back here. The left circles, right? Counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Just make a mess with it. Light pressure, heavy pressure. What do you want yours to look like? That's the key. Right? If you have a little bit more pressure, it's going to blend out all those bright areas and they're going to start to blend with all the different colors. Look at that, from the blue to the green. Oh, it's fantastic. Fantastic, babe. Woo! That's a very cool cloud. And then you just stop when you think yours looks cool, right? Does this one look cool? Sure does. <laughs> so, we'll take it like this. People love, I, at least I love when the TikTok, uh, like the thumbnail just rotates back and forth like that. Right. It's really cool. So we'll take our two inch brush. We're going to swipe up. Don't touch the moon. Number one rule. Don't touch the moon, please. Over to the side. Over to the side. Don't touch it. The smallest bit. There we go. There's the smallest little flick will cause 10 million comments to go, you touched the moon. Which really helps me every time you guys say that. I love you. There we go, right? And this time we actually didn't touch the moon. I actually didn't do it. I almost want to do it just because I, just because I say don't do it. I touched it. I touched it. I touched, it. I touched the butt. He touched the butt. <laughs> I always think of uh, Finding Nemo when people say that. He touched the butt. All right, so if this is your first time watching Paint With Josh and you just tuned in and you're like, what is this guy doing? What's it going to look like, right? Remember, tell us where you're watching from and what's your favorite sandwich, what's your favorite food. Hit us with it in the emojis. You get the pizza emoji. What other kind of emojis are there? I don't even, I don't use emojis a lot. There's a ton of emojis. Let's see. What emojis could we throw in there? We've got chicken emojis. Oh, yeah. We've got... What's the most see. random food emoji that nobody would probably definitely eat? Type broccoli. That in the comment. There's broccoli. a broccoli emoji? There's a broccoli emoji. No way. Bacon, pie, peanuts, pea beans. 
Pea beans? Yeah. Oh, peanuts. peanuts right. They're right. They're not. Right. Beans. Right. They're not. That's. Uh, we got chopsticks. We got boba tea. We got. There's a boba tea. Uh, there sure is. Uh, uh, emoji. Yep. For anyone looking on YouTube, I just dropped the boba tea emoji in. The That's YouTube. crazy. I didn't think there would ever be a. You know, how do you make a boba tea? Does it got like the balls at the bottom and like yeah. a fat straw? Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you guys have access to all the emojis in the world, drop that boba tea emoji in the comments on TikTok. Drop the the weirdest emoji that there is. Like you, whatever you think is the most strange, useless emoji. Drop that one. Because the boba tea one, I would never use. That would be useless for me. Okay, let's take that white and yellow on the brush. Same colors, right? And we'll come up and just start to highlight and brighten. Maybe a couple little areas where that moonlight would have just kissed it. Just a little kiss. A little smooch. Gotta get a smooch from the moon, baby. Then we'll come over here. I, I always try to dab off any extra paint. I don't have to wash the brush, because we're going to get all these same colors on it anyway. But just dab off any extra paint. Come up here in so much lighter than before, because otherwise it will disappear into that same color that we just mixed up, right? So lightly. And you keep these nice, brighter areas, allowing them to blend deeper and darker into the shadows. Gorgeous. The more you mix it, the more it's going to go away. And it'll be gone forever. Right? So again, decide what you want yours to look like. Take our big old two-inch brush again. And two inches is big for a brush, ladies, let me tell you. I think that's a small brush, let me tell you something. I got small brushes, okay? This is a big Thank old brush. Don't so touch much. the moon. Oh, hey, shit. guys, if you're watching on TikTok, <laughs> if you could give the two top gifters, the, uh, if you could give, I'm sorry, the top three gifters a follow, uh, Minx Boo One, The London Candle, and Jessie Lynn. Uh, that's Jessie Lynn's art. Uh, give them a follow, please. Let's try and... Uh, Jessie Lynn's art is over on TikTok? Yeah. She's a big, she's an awesome Facebook follower. I think she's a Facebook subscriber, actually. I'm a Super Squad member, if I'm not incorrect. Let's take a little bit up over here. Just a little, just a little touch, right? Smallest little things, leaving a little bit of darkness in between the moon and this set of, uh, set of clouds, and that way you get that little bit of depth back there. All right. Yeah, it's been a crazy week this week, hun. We had that party on, on uh, Wednesday? It was Wednesday, right? Yeah. We did the Valentine's thing on Tuesday. Then we did that party on Wednesday, and then I painted again last night to the, no, uh, Thursday night to make the tutorial, and then we did Friday night the, uh, the ASMR, you know, quiet live. Man, it's been crazy this week. And then Saturday, my goodness, here we go. We're going to take a little bit of this, our same colors, white and yellow, just the smallest bit, and then we're going to come back and just decide where our little bit of ocean is. Maybe we're back here. And just by going side to side. Trying to keep it straight. Camila Kinsey found a squid emoji. A squid emoji? For, for like calamari? No, like a full-blown squid emoji. Oh, no. I found a garlic emoji. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right, smallest bit, take our one-inch brush and just soften it. Soften it back. You just need a little, little bit of back ocean back there. I also found a woolly mammoth emoji. No way. Yes, no please. No way. No way. No way. Ta somebody tagged that guy. It's like N-O-O-O-O way. He's the f it's so funny. Oh, you know, I, he, he put out a video last night about, uh, or at least I saw it last night, about WD-40 can clean the soap scum off of your shower door. Shut up. I no way. way. I'm no tell way. No way. <laughs> I'm telling you, I watched it. He goes in there and sprays WD-40 on the nasty soap scum that's all on the door, and it comes right off. Right off. I found an ant emoji, too. An ant. We're not going to be eating ants. No, I'm aware, <laughs> but I found an ant emoji. <clears throat> I don't know. There's chocolate-covered ants. Has anyone ever had chocolate-covered ants? Or chocolate-covered scorpions? Or anything weird that's been chocolate-covered? We're going to take I, our... I ate a scorpion out of a shop. True. I think I did one, too, didn't you I? Did, you I did. did. Yeah. Oh, I found a sloth emoji. A sloth. That's the cutest little emoji. It takes, it takes the longest amount of time to send, too. Peter Bothwell, <laughs> want to say thank you very much for the 530 stars wow, on Peter, Facebook. Wow, Peter, you're awesome. Do you guys on Facebook like this vertical view? They do. They all love it. Oh, okay, perfect. We'll start doing it like that, then. So we're going to take our, our, our fan brush covered in our white and yellowish paint. 
knock the cameras over. I'm going to come back here and just make a little mustache. Whoop, whoop, right? Just like that. That's all you really need. The little mustache of the ocean. Okay, staying, keeping that area beneath it very dark. And then we're going to come in with the same brush and from the tip, just start to slide it back. Don't need a whole lot of paint. Don't need a whole lot of detail. This is not the focal point of our painting. And then maybe back here, just from the side though, you never slide it back from the other corner going the other direction. That's not going to make any sense, right? The water's all flowing towards us in one direction. So don't take it from the other tip and go the other way. That would be bad. That would be bad for our eyeballs. And we'll take our one inch brush and just very lightly soften it. Softening it is so soft. Take this guy, slide him back. Don't kind of try to ruin all the details, right? I'm trying to get rid of all the details, so we're just softening the paint the smallest bit. And then I'm going to come up here and make that point a little bit more pointy. Just like that. Right? And get this very cool little bit of wave off in the distance. And if you're like, that doesn't look like a wave, just give me a second. I'm going to show you what it's supposed to be. There we go. All right, let's take a step back, because a lot of times when I'm doing an ocean scene, my, my horizon is not straight because I paint on this angle. So I can't believe we have so many people watching on Facebook. No, it's awesome. It's like a record number. You guys are wicked. We've got, we're probably about to surpass uh, 75,000 followers on Facebook, which is catching up to TikTok quickly. TikTok's at like 117. And, uh, and Facebook's catching up in 75,000. Now, if everybody could just go over and subscribe to my YouTube channel for free, just follow me on YouTube, and we can get all three around the same number. That would be cool. Yeah, Mark Anderson found a ginger emoji, and not in the sense of, oh. of people who should feel personally attacked by that. Yeah, right? As in the... Uh, yeah, the food ginger? Yes, the food ginger. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, we're going to come grab our fan brush again, come into our white. Sort of looks like some sort of weird creature. A weird creature? The ginger emoji does? Yes. That's cool. Okay, going to go into the yellow and to the white and get it all onto our brush. Not all the way up the bristles of the brush, though, right? Even that's like a little bit too much. Just get it on the end. And then we're going to decide where our big crasher is going to be. All right, so maybe he's going to come from up here, and that might be the top. And then he's going to go down just like that. So we're going to come in and just very lightly with just the corner start to rotate and then the more we go down the more of the brush is going to touch the canvas the more of an angle the longer they're going to become right you get these cool little rotating bits of water now maybe you don't want to go all the way down right and the waves never just a perfect thing so why don't we twist our or adjust our angle a little bit and then we'll start going up and off to the side Right? And now you've got this little multi-shaped wave. There we go. You gotta make sure it's round. Gotta make sure it's different. Gotta make sure there's dark areas and light areas, right? Not everything's the same. And you don't wanna make it too crazy long. This one's getting big already. He's a big old wave. Big old monster wave. But the secret is really, right? Not rotating your, your water too soon almost coming down to somewhere off of your canvas down here, down off of the easel, right? You're rotating, you're following that same line and ending up at the same place down here with your curves, right? Every, every bit of water is going to the same spot, no matter where it is, it's coming down and crashing down here, right? So just remember that. I'm gonna come back in, grab up that little bit of white and yellow from our pile, and we get a little bit more yellow, brighten it up a little bit. Right, just like that, excellent. Load up the brush, just mainly on one side though, right? And why do we do that, babe? <laughs> so that we don't overload our brushes yeah! with paint. Excellent, right? Now we'll take this, we'll come up and grab the tip of the wave. Now we'll go underneath, round it up. Ooh, that was crazy. <laughs> There's a little happy accident right there. You know how the, the hard bit and it's different from the soft give of the canvas? It's okay though, it's all right. We're gonna come up here. There we go. Just push on it a little harder. Work with the accidents that happen, right? You don't have to freak out. You can always fix something. 
Just for anyone wondering, these videos will be posted directly so that you can re-watch them on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're watching on TikTok and you think, shoot, I missed the beginning, right. you can head over to YouTube and or Facebook or both or simultaneously, one on your phone, one on the TV, because let's be honest. That's exactly what we all watch our phone while we've got the TV on, even though we're not watching what's on the TV. That's exactly what I was going to say. And you can watch this video from the start uh, over again and again and again. A and million again. times. And again, Josh also has over 300 videos on YouTube. So if you want to see anything else, which Josh does not only ever paint waves and mountains and right. clouds, <clears throat> you can head over to YouTube, hit that uh, subscribe button. It is free. Uh, it doesn't cost you a penny, and uh, we'll try and get his YouTube channel up there with that with that following. Yeah, that would be amazing, you guys. That would be amazing. Maybe I could quit my job if I had all three about the same amount of followers. I could probably quit my job. That would be cool. <clears throat> be the full-time artist gig, right? There we go. And take our fan brush again, just like this. Because if you guys didn't know, we're not in a studio. We're up in the spare room of our house. I never took a class. I didn't go. I'm not a CRI. I could never afford it. You know what I mean? I just, I watched Bob. I studied him. I learned how to, how, you know, I watched what he was doing and not telling us. And then I translate that to you guys. So my videos are a little bit longer, but I'm telling you all the secrets that Bob never had time to tell us, right? And that way we're all going to be better painters. Just like that. A little bit of white and yellow on the brush. Take it and start feeding it back, but we're not going to touch this color to that color. You have to leave a little bit of darkness back here, right? So over here, very small little flicks because we don't want the color to touch. And then we start flicking a little bit harder, right? And we're staying about a quarter inch away from that bit of brightness, right? And we're pulling back and we're flicking back, right? And that looks too much of the same to me. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer in some areas, a little bit further away, right? And again, just flicking it with the brush Shooting it back to that last little bit of darkness, just retaining that last little teeny little bit, right? And that starts to turn into the shadow of that next little wave that's coming over. But everything is for a reason, right? Had a bunch of comments. A lot of new people are seeing us on Facebook from our reels and, uh, and judging us on this one video that they're seeing. Either that I'm not chill enough or, you know, I'm a Bob Ross ripoff and all this other stuff. So I've had lots of interaction with new people. Lots of inner, oh no, I don't have any liquid white out. So in order to make our highlights super bright and sticky and wet, you need to have some liquid white. You could use liquid clear and mix it with your, your titanium white or use the paint thinner with, or the, you know, the low odor mineral spirits with that titanium white, but Low odor mineral spirits and liquid clear don't mix well. So you don't want to use a lot of, you know, thinner with the liquid clear. It'll start to have a reaction that you don't want to have. So get a little bit of liquid white, just a little bit, right? I'm going to dip some on my knife. I'm going to dip it into the top of the jar because we don't need a whole lot. All right, just a, a little touch. There we go. And then we can put that away. We're not going to need it anymore. Babe, can you get me a new set of gloves? Sure. <clears throat> or at least one. Uh, I get these. These things get all crazy. That's why we wear gloves, too. People are like, why do you wear gloves? Well, look at how much it's, paint would be on my... Hand. It probably is. Thank you. What a toss. Whoop. Whoop. That's okay. I only need to... Here we go. See if we can't get it back on my wet hand. <laughs> That's the problem when you take off the gloves and you get your hands all wet and soggy in there, right? So when people ask, why do you wear the gloves? I like to stay clean. And it makes me feel like a doctor. Dr. Paint with Josh, Dr. Paint with Josh. We have patients that need painting tips. You okay, Yep. Yeah. Your hip feeling okay? No. Nope. If everybody could pray for London's hip to feel better, she would very much appreciate that. There we go. Okay. Now we got our liquid white. It's just in the little top of the lid. Right? You don't need a whole lot. Don't need a whole lot. And what I was going to do was take that. And seriously though, if everybody could just at least say, London, I hope your hip feels better. She's going to mentally feel better. 
take the uh, liquid white right on the tip, and then we're going to come up here and just start to highlight the back of this wave very lightly. All right, doesn't even have to be the same all the way across. Small little bit of brightness is all you're looking for. Now the other side, a little bit, right? Nothing too detailed. It's not the, the most detailed part of our painting. No one's looking way back there at that tip of the wave. Unless they're actually trying to buy your painting, right? So don't worry about it too much. That's the point. Don't worry about it too much. You're going to take that same liquid white, the same brush. Might as well come up here now. Grab into this. Just follow along. Sometimes you have to twist your brush and rotate it as the paint starts to fall off. To keep it going on. To keep our rotation, our nice little line. Very cool. Make it watery though, right? It's not a perfectly straight line. When's the last time you saw water be perfectly straight? Because I have never seen that, hun. I hope you feel better, babe. Are the pe have the people told you to feel better yet? Yeah, they sure have. Yeah? You guys, she's like got the, she's got a grimace on her face, like, oh. So just feel better, hun. Feel better. Feel better. Okay, we're going to take our, you know, should we do our spray? Should we do the foam first or should we do the eye first, guys? What do you think comes next? The foamy bit, the crashing water? or the eye of the wave. Type in the comments what you think comes next while I highlight the tip top of this guy. What comes next, the eye or the foamy crash? While well, we take a little bit of white and just in different areas, just brighten up small little bits, very light pressure, same angle. All right now you have little differences in your water, little bright areas and dark areas. Even in the bright, you have to have dark areas, right? Very cool. So what do they say, babe? Do they say I or do they say foam? Give me one second. Let me go back. Let's see what the people think. I don't know. People are, people are doing nice things and praying for me. Oh, that's very sweet. You guys are going to make her cry. Keep doing it. Uh, Jackie calls us as the I... Tara says I, OFAC 777 says I, Jen says I, Jackie I, I. says I, I, I. I, I, I. Arr. Let's see what else we got. I, I, paint with Josh. Paint with ye old Josh. Jennifer Hoff says I. Excellent. You guys have been paying attention. Except you're all wrong. We're going to do the fun. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's do the old eye, right? So we're going to take a little bit of that white again. Smallest little bit, though. Tiniest, teeniest, littlest amount. A little bit of the yellow. Don't need a whole lot of paint is what I'm saying because it's going to want to extend very far. So teeny, tiny amount of paint, right? Smallest little thing. Don't let the colors touch. Retain that dark separator, right? We call it the separator. You have to retain that separation of color. That's something Bob never told me. Something I had to figure out on my own. That if you lose that separation, you lose your depth. Your wave does not look like it's about to curl and roll over, right? That little darkness is the shadow of the water rolling over. So don't let those areas touch. That's not what you want. All right? A little bit of eye. Just like that. Fantastic. That's even way too big for for what I really wanted. I wanted to keep it smaller, but it's okay. Happy little accidents, right? Now, what comes next, guys? The foam. All right, so we'll go into our dark color. I mixed up the blue, the crimson, and the black. Just into this kind of dark blackish looking pile of paint. We're gonna get it onto our brush. Don't need a whole lot, right? Just like that. Bang, bang, boom. I'm gonna take the corner and start pushing up underneath our little bit of water and then we follow along down underneath here over there popping it up spraying it everywhere it's like that you can hear it falling down and about to crash down onto the thing ah fantastic you guys i can already see it i can see it coming together Clean off the old brush, beat the devil out of it. Oh, I said I was going to show you guys how I beat the devil out of it, and then I never did. 
I never did because I'm a bad teacher, right? I'm going to take some of this darkness underneath and I'm just going to work it a little bit back just to maintain my dark separation right there. Oh, that's all you need. Gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. How many different ways can we say gorgeous? Right? Excellent. Okay, now you can see we've left a little bit of room for the top of the wave because when you go to do your highlights, you're not putting it directly over all of this shadow. You have to start about halfway up your shadow, leaving a little bit underneath, right? So let's do that. And you know what I want to try, actually? Let's do this as well. We're going to do two, we're going to do double highlights on this guy. So we're going to do a little bit of liquid white, and we're going to go into our blue. All right, just liquid white and blue. And that way, I'm going to go on the very bottom side of our wave, and just a small, a couple small bits right down here. Just so we have a little bit of, of blue highlight underneath our white highlight, and it's going to mix in with that darker shadow, right? And then maybe we'll see. I've never done this before, so we'll see. A little bit of blue, and then we'll come over with our white. Wash the old brush off, beat the devil out of it. Now let's come back. Nice clean brush. I'm going to go into the liquid white. All right, the liquid white's very watery and runny. And then we're going to go into our little pile of color, lighter color that we've had today. Just like this, a little bit more. It's got to be runny, but you don't want it to be super sloppy, right? If it's so sloppy, then it's not going to maintain our, our cool little brush shapes and, and spray pattern, right? If it's too wet. So you have to mix it with that titanium white and the liquid white. Come back up here, just like this. Just like that. And come up here. And above our shadows, maybe connect to that white line that you had. Start slapping up, stay above our shadows, above that blue, but leave some of the dark, right? I'm not trying to cover every single piece. Maybe cover over some of that blue back in there. Slap at it, smack at it. Higher than our shadows, lower than our shadows, all over the shadows. Spraying here, tapping there. Going like this, some of the blue, some of the, ooh, that looks cool with the blue, babe, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I've never done that before. And I figure, like, when we do our trees and stuff, we always have multiple shadows, colors, and highlight colors, right? So you can't just do white over the, over the kind of purpley color. That doesn't mix and look very good. This looks freaking awesome. I've never done that before. And, it, you know, you try something. And like I say, guys, we make this stuff up as we go. I'm not joking when I say that. Try it. Don't cover up all the stuff. A couple little taps. Leave it. Very cool. Very cool. Remember, it's a snapshot in time. We're not following. When I first started painting waves, my waves would be like way down off the canvas because I wanted to continue to see the water move, right? Every time you touch it with your brush, you can imagine it moving and crashing and you almost have to stop yourself and go, okay, that's far enough. That's far enough. All right, why don't we take our little brush just like this and just from the side, mixing different parts, right? I don't want to do every single piece. As we start to make our little cloud of water, leaving some areas that are kind of extra splashy, right? Coming down here so soft. And then right there, right at the tip is where you stop because that's hitting the ground right here, right? So we have all that tumultuous spray. Look at that. Very cool. A little bit of cloud, water. Let's come back in with the smallest bit of, of titanium white and, uh, and liquid white on the tip of the brush. Not even going up the, the sides, just on the tip. And then you can come in and add cool little bits of spray in here. Just by touching. If you touch too hard, then you're going to make it look like a brush. Right? And you can always go back, add a little bit more. A couple more little taps. Bing, bang, boom. You get these cool little bits of spray in there. And then watch. If you don't like them, or if you don't like some of them, all you got to do is mix. Have them all go away. Start again. Right? Very cool. Very cool and easy. Just don't put too much paint on the brush and too much pressure on the canvas, right? It's all about the three Ps. London knows the three Ps. Do you guys know the three Ps? Do they know the three Ps, babe? I don't think, I don't I think they do. I don't think they know the three Ps. I think you're gonna need to tell them again. We might have to tell them. Okay, so the three Ps of paint with Josh are, number one, the amount of what, babe? Paint. Paint on the brush. And then the amount of, what's the next P? Pressure. Pressure on the canvas. And then the final P is, 
To pee before you start painting. To pee before you start painting. That is the third P. And then the fourth P is practice, of course. After peeing, then you go practice. That is, you're hilarious, babe. You always know how to make me laugh. Always. I'm sure people thought that was funny. Did we get laughy emojis in there? No, nobody. No one that. thought that was funny? Nobody thought that was funny. Oh, um, that made oh, me laugh. Vindicta 77 thought it was funny. Okay, cool. And I was going to say, it made me laugh. That was funny. It made me laugh, too. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back into our little bit of white, right? No, I'm saying clean. that not everything that happens in my head that I think is funny, when I say it out loud, it doesn't translate as funny. So True. It would make sense. True. I, I mean, everyone's like that. I do the same thing. We're going to take a little bit of white on the tip of the brush, right? I've cleaned up the pile and moved our greenish thing over here. Now we're just going to use the white and allow it to blend in with our browns and stuff that are underneath, all of our sandy bit of water. So decide where you want your wave to crash, right? If it's hitting down here, maybe we start sliding it back, right? Not making it too bright, just going straight back right now, not curling up, not doing anything, just deciding where our, our little bit of water is laying. Right? Jackie Causa says it's good advice. Thank you. No, not you. Pee in before starting oh. painting. Yes, very true. Nobody wants to do the pee pee dance while painting. <laughs> very true. Right? Maybe they're the three P's: the pee pee dance, <laughs> the pee pee and painting. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to paint up here? Sorry. If you just keep making me laugh, no, oh, that's funny. Okay, a little bit more of our yellow into our our color, and then we're gonna start to rotate up the wave. All right, so we get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. And then where does your wave start rotating up? Don't want to go up too fast. You kind of want to go back and slide up, right? And then the further we get out to the side, the further horizontally our, our foam starts becoming, right? Very, very cool. All based on your angles. And remember, keep this area very, very, very dark. You don't want to have any bit of anything back there and try not to let your foam touch your eye, right? And that is the key to having a very depth-filled wave. Just like that. Letting that white and yellow mix in with the brown and the blue and green and all the colors that are underneath, just so neatly, you get all these cool little things. Keep an eye on your angles, right? Very neat. How's my angles look? I can't even see. Oh, that's looking cool. That's looking fantastic, right? I'm come over here, make this guy a little bit longer just to make sense in my brain. And boom, that's a cool looking wave right there. If I do say so myself. Okay. Thank you so much for the 100 stars on Facebook. Man, you guys are awesome. Remember I showed you how we were gonna clean the brush and then I never did? Let's do it right now. So we have all this dark color on the tip of our, our one inch brush. And my paint thinner is very low right now. It's about down to here. I need to get some more in the cup. So I'm just going to dip just the tip of the bristles in, right? Look, it's not even enough to pour out of the brush. But I definitely don't want to go up and touch my canvas with it. That would be bad. All right, so I spin it off inside the cup, kind of shaking loose any little bit of extra thinner. And remember, there's still a lot here. So we have to go shake it into our trash can. That's the little flicks that you hear. Now, again, still very, very wet. Look at that. Oof. That's wet. So that's why we got to beat the devil out of it. And I use a, an old nasty five gallon bucket. I can't see it. Lift it up. I'm trying. <laughs> it tips over. All these cameras are so close. Right? Old nasty bucket with just a golf ball basket in the bottom. Right? And then I take it, beat the devil out of it. The brush gets nice and dry. But again, dab it off on a paper towel. Always remember. Just get in the habit. Especially on black canvas. Dab it off on a paper towel. So, somebody asked me, where do you get the basket that's in your thing? Well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, you could go to like a golf store, I guess. I had it in my garage for years and years and years before I started painting, and that's just what I chose to use, right? Um, but it's, it's up to you. You could use like one of those little, I was thinking, maybe you know that little, um, the file holder that we have downstairs, that little wire rack file oh, yeah. holder thing? You could stick that in the bucket. Yeah, or you, like a... You, you could also go to the 99 cent store. They have little wire baskets there. Yeah, and you could true. get that and tip that upside down in a... I didn't even think of that. Um, what about, like, makeups? Did you, it, like, when you go searching for makeup, is there any, like, kind of makeup holder or, like, a, you know, like a rack or always. something? But at the 99 cent store, they have these little wire baskets where you can, you know, put bits and bobs in them. That's awesome. 
I was so. thinking, like, so many of our fans are, are female. Yeah. Like, where's the best place, you know, well, while you're at Ulta getting some makeup, you could also pick up a little container, you know, something. It's just like a little Y about yeah, it. it is weird. It's just something, it's something that you want to trash. You know what I mean? Because it's not clean, and it will never be clean anymore. So, but that's really it. And then you get the five-gallon bucket from Home Depot or Lowe's. They're like $2 each. Get your uh, odorless mineral spirits from Home Depot. This is what it looks like, the stuff that we use to clean. All right, I've got many Beat the Devil Out of It videos. This is by a company called Clean Strip. There's also another company called Jasco. But make sure you get the odorless stuff. Otherwise, it will stink you out of the house. And London knows about that. We did one show one time. It was like three hours. And uh, back when we were using that really strong cleaner. And yeah. London had to leave the room. Like, she had to go downstairs. She felt like she was going to pass out. Very cool. Look at that. Look at the rotation. And we're going to take this. And we need to make some sandy beach, right? And the number one mistake that I see beginners make when they're making their sandy beach, and we do a lot of videos like this, but people need to see it. You know, you never know when someone's going to see the next little one. So we take a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, go underneath about a quarter inch, and just start straight down. A little couple of poles. A couple of poles like this. The longer we go, the longer our little poles get, right? The lighter we're touching the canvas. Very small, tiny amount of paint, right? Now, of course, this does not look like a sandy beach. I wouldn't want to go walk on that. They look like you'd cut your feet up walking on that right there. So we're going to take our two-inch brush like this and come in and just lightly pull down all the way off, right? leaving our little line of darkness back here. You don't want to have to go back and put it in. It's a pain in the butt. Pull it down. Now, here's the number one mistake. Beginners will leave it looking just like this. And that doesn't look like Sandy Beach to me. It looks like an Aurora Borealis. Did you just hit that crack? No, was that your back? It was my hip bun. Oh, jeez. Maybe it'll start feeling better. <laughs> so, normally... The beginners will leave it just looking like this, and that doesn't look like a sandy beach to me. It looks like Aurora Borealis. So take it and swipe it out sideways. Watch, look at the difference right here. Look at the difference between these two things. Wet sand, Aurora Borealis. Not the same thing, right? So swipe them out. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Woo, you get that little bit of sheen. Oh, it's fantastic. Retaining our dark line back in here. That way we don't have to go put it back in, right? And if you do lose it, you can always go back. A little bit of dark, or a little bit of black, or, or uh, our crimsony, purpley mixture. And add that little bit of darkness back in there along the edge. And that way it just helps that little bit of foam sit up a little bit. It gives it a little bit of depth, a little bit of raise to it. This foam just got a raise. It was making good money before, but now it just got a raise. Right? It sits up a little bit higher. Just like that. Now we'll take a little bit of that white, and greenish, and yellow color. Mix it with a little bit of our liquid white, because we want it to be coming off of our knife very easily and simply, right? Wipe it off with a nice clean knife to start. Scrape up a little bit and then come back over the top of that dark and slide it back up into your wave. Just like so. Get the coolest little things that start to happen when we start to play with this foamy goodness. Right? Slide them. If you ever have a bit that doesn't look right, connect them, right? You don't have to connect every piece and not every piece has to be touching, you know, every other little bit of foam. Nothing. Nothing has to be right, quote unquote right. Right? <laughs> there we go. Start sliding the knife backward. Up there it drops off like little teeny little bits of, of mess because that's all it is. All that foam is just a whole lot of mess, right? What if we slid some down from up here? In those same little angles, though. Right? And that way, it looks messy. Because when I go look at some foamy ocean, it doesn't look like a perfectly painted thing, right? I'm going to take our 2-inch brush or 1-inch brush, depending on what you know, how big your canvas is, how much room you have left, how comfortable you are. And just very lightly, because I don't want those big, thick, foamy bits to blend away, right? Very lightly in those same angles. Start feeding them up our wave. Don't let our two colors touch too much. Right? Make sure our, our directional poles are correct. And you start to feed it up, leaving that darkness. That's the shadow of the wave that's about to rotate over. Very cool, hon. Very, very cool. There we go. Coming down. Remember, leave that darkness. That's that bit of depth in between our barrel, right? Somebody's about to pop out of here on a surfboard. Or a boogie board. Pew! me except I would be all rotated up and I'd break my leg on a piece of coral or something. 
There we go. A little bit of, bit of darkness. Come back in here and just feed it up underneath our wave again. Underneath that little bit of lightness. You have to have that bit of dark there. And it helps lift our wave up. There we go. I wonder how many other people use that little, steal that little technique from me when they're doing their waves. You gotta have it. I just think it helps give it some lift. What do you think, babe? I mean, the little bit of dark line under there, to me, being the difference here, it's so dark that that is its own little shadow of that lip of foam, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. So, what are you doing this week with candles, babe? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I believe I will be going live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Awesome. And then you're going to be doing, like, I saw you got a bunch of orders the last time you did a, a live. Yep, I'm over for the same thing on Tuesday. Excellent. It's really cool when you guys go watch London's show that, you know, she gets people that come in and they make their purchases and then you can go choose what color you want your candle, what, you know, what say, like you've already chosen your scent by the time you've made your purchase. And then you get to go choose it and watch it come to life, like right in front of your eyes. It's so cool. And then you get it packaged up and sent to you. And then by the time it gets there, you're like, oh, I remember what this looked like when it was lit. This is going to be neat. A little bit of soft little pull right there. Oh, there we go. And uh, they're so neat. So go to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com and you can buy London's candles. And uh, they come in uh, four ounce, eight ounce, 12 ounce. She's got wax melts. She's got wax burners. So you can order those together. She's got like 32 different scents in the store. It, and uh, the house always smells fantastic. So I love when people place orders because that way we kind of get to smell it before you do as she's making it, right? And the house smells pretty good. So go to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com. Place your order today. Do you have any sales going on right now, man? I have 75% off. 75%? 75 75% off all chocoholic candles. Oh, chocoholic. Okay. And then I have a flat 50% off across the store. Okay, so half off on the whole store, 75% off on the chocolate. The chocolate is one of the strongest smells in, this, in the store. So if you like a strong smell, I suggest chocolate, coffee, uh, uh, lemon, or what's that other strong... It's like another real strong one. I can't remember what it was. Kind of a Northern Nights? No, because it wasn't the eucalyptus -y one. That's not eucalyptus. -y. It's like that's a eucalyptus pine, I thought. Yeah, yeah but the, it smells like a pine forest. It's super strong Northern Nights. Oh, okay. I, I'm thinking about something. Other, a different one, I guess. Kentucky Love? Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good one. Vanilla Bourbon? That vanilla bourbon-y one, that's, that's really good. Okay, I'm going to take a couple little dots just on the tip corner of the brush with well, like three bristles. And just into that dark area, just pop up a few little things like they're coming down, about to hit, or they just shot out of there, or something. Don't put too many, though. Too many, you're going to ruin it. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were, like, raising your hand to ask me a question. No, I'm like, searching. we were in school. There we go. A couple little bits of falling spray. They really give my paintings, anyway, that little bit of extra oomph that you need, right? I like this one. Normally, we take this little bit. And if we, if it's hard to do, because if you, you, you got to make that same sort of mustache look, right? So if you imagine our mustache on an angle down here, Did and you, you came up, yeah, okay, you have to come up to that mustache point and then down again, which is hard to do on these sometimes. So just very lightly, imagine it, right? and then you would come down so softly. I don't want to drag a whole lot of color because we're in the shadow back here, right? A little bit to come down. For anyone in the comments saying the oil is intimidating, please oh, know no. that oil is far less intimidating than acrylics. Acrylics dry almost instantly, at least with, uh, and obviously Josh isn't going to do it, but he could take a two inch brush and erase the entire canvas right now with that two inch brush. Yeah, we could redo the whole sky. I could wipe off all of this wave and put down new dark color and do it again. You can't do that with acrylic. No, definitely so not. The, the, um, the manipulation of the paint itself is far easier with oil than it is with acrylic. Even back here, I can still make little adjustments, little flicks, have it grow a little bit more, you know, different little things with the oils, which with acrylic, London's absolutely right. You couldn't, it would already be dry and hard and nasty. Maybe not nasty, maybe, maybe it would be nasty. great. It could be great. 
Take a little bit of white and yellow on our brush, and just that brush on our knife. Just drop in a little line, it would come out here. Little differences though, right? I never like it to be all the same. And I just fill in little areas in between there, leaving our sandy beach look. And get your little bit of foam out in front of the water. Very cool. Very cool looking. Maybe we pull down just the smallest bit, just on the very base of it. Slide that guy, just our little swipes over. And you have a little difference, right? Very cool. Very neat. I like this one, honey. I like it. So yeah, we had lots of stuff to talk about today. A bunch of crap talkers, and we had an awesome time at the event. I can't wait for those photos to come out from the the Lady Led Collabs event. That's going to be great. They always come out very good. Don't you think, babe? Oh yeah. They do always come out great. They've normally got like four or five really high quality photographers there as well. Yeah, there was a lot of photographers there. Yeah. Lots. I'm just brightening up any little areas. There we go. Guys, Very don't, cool. don't forget, I know I sound like a broken record. Hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button, follow the host to make sure that you get notifications. If you tap on Josh's name over on TikTok, you'll see a little bell. Press that bell, click all notifications. On Facebook, you can do the same thing. When you go to follow, it'll give you a choice of how you want to see the notifications. Uh, and on YouTube, hit that uh, hit that bell logo as well so that you know exactly when Josh goes live and you get notified every time. I found my yardstick! Josh has found his Yay, yardstick. Yay, I found it. Oh, I've been missing it. I put it, it fell down back behind a bunch of stuff. Okay, so the reason we use a yardstick, how do I, why, would you, why would I want to be touching my painting with a yardstick, babe? Because, like in the library, uh, I don't know why I chose the library as an example with those rolling stairs That's so you don't put your foot on the steps to get the book that's too high. Yeah, right those ladders Like if you were to try to climb up the shelves, that's why yeah. you make those ladders that roll across. Yeah, right? so that you don't damage the books So right. the same logic applies with the yardstick you lay it over the top or lay it on a space on the canvas Whether or not it be on your easel or on a blank piece of canvas that you haven't yet painted and it gives you a uh, area to rest your wrist on so that you do not get paint on the side of your hand, or in this case, on the side of your glove. Like this, right? So the acrylic artists don't need this, because their sky and everything's already dry. You just take your hand and rest it on there and do little details, right? But for us oil artists, we need something in between us and this all this wet paint. And so London exactly is correct, and the analogy for the, the rolling ladder is perfect. And that way you can decide where you want to be. Where should we put the family on? Over Wherever like underneath the moon over here, over on this side? Wherever you like. Where does the where does the fan say? Where would I, the birds be? I, I would put the birds on the right hand side and then use your super fine thin liner yeah. to do a little moonlight on the right hand wing of the birds. Ooh. So it have like mo okay, okay, okay. So let's do we're gonna we're gonna have blue as our base color, right? So let's do this. And we'll have one bird over here. Bird over here. And Bailey over here. Alright, just with the base blue, and then we'll go across it with the very fine, the smallest, thinnest. Look at how the one that Frankie got me split up after using it once. Oh. Okay, we'll see if we can use it again. Uh, Dip it in some pink then. Huh? Dip it in some pink. Then. Yeah. So now we're gonna go into the thinner. Right, and then, wow, I need to get, I need to empty out that thinner cup. Okay, into the thinner, and then into our white, right, just like that. So it's very liquidy, twist the brush, rotate the bristles, so you get this very, very, very fine line, right? And Frankie got me this brush, it's a, she got it from my Amazon wish list, it's a, Premium Original Gold Trademark, King Art Trademark, Script Liner. And I mean, it is tiny. It is the smallest, thinnest, longest and thinnest script liner I've ever seen. So we're going to come over here and just on the back side, like London said, maybe put a little bit of, oh, that's a lot of white back there. There we go. That one's better. Just so thinly. And then we'll have the white and the blue, 
underneath. Right? Except mine looks weird. <laughs> you guys came out good. But mine looks strange. So, you know what's cool? If you have a bird like that and you've used a lot of that liquid white, you can literally take it, mix it up. Now it becomes part of that cloud back there. You see how fast that disappeared? So, let's go back and try that again. We'll get a little bit of blue. Get our yardstick so we can have a nice steady hand. Let's come back in here, a little bit of blue. All right, and now we're going to go back to the smallest, teensiest, tinesiest amount of white and pressure that we can possibly do. Oh, hey, that looked good right there. What do you think? Perfect. Perfection. Okay. Well, that's amazing. So, start coming up with a name for this painting. What do you guys want to name it? What would you name it had you just painted it? Or if it was hanging on your wall and you're about to show it off to your neighbors, you're like, I got to name this painting and I named it this. And then I bought it. You know what I mean? What would you name it? And a little bit more darkness underneath it because it's just too bright right there. Too bright. And then we'll come back with a small amount of light over the top, leaving those little darker areas. Right? Hey, just like that. Very cool. So, write the names on whatever platform you're watching on right now. And we're going to go through the names. I'm just going to read them out, and then we're going to choose one. And maybe yours gets chosen as the name of the painting. So, write it out, and then you'll get a shout-out. Write it out in the name in the comments of whatever platform you're watching on right now. Hit us with some names while I clean up all these dirty brushes. Hey, um, just so you know, if you decide to show up in Josh's live and post your own stuff, like publicize your own channel. Who's doing that? Uh, Bella Bella decided she would show up and do uh, it. Well, Bella Bella's bought, uh, I think, uh, bought a painting. This YouTube's really informative. Go check out my YouTube channel. That's fine. Whatever. No one's going to go look at it. I mean, if they don't... Actually, that's a different part. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. London's right. Don't be, don't be trying to promote your own yeah. self to my fans. Yeah, there's... You are 100% right, honey. Get after people them. Here. We don't do that. Get after them, right? We only watch Josh. No one else watches anyone else. You're free to go watch whoever you want, but no, don't only... show up and cross publish on somebody else's unless it's an agreement of doing yeah, right? it with the with the host themselves. It's really tacky, guys. If you want to pay me to 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 get to all of my uh, all of my followers and have them go check out your YouTube channel, then well, let's work something out. But don't be trying to come in sly in the comments and drop your own channel. It's really tacky. Yeah, that's some that's some sly high school crap. Don't be doing that. Not around here. All right, there we go. Gorgeous, guys. I give this stuff away for free, and people, they, they want to they wanna jump on the bandwagon when they start seeing how well we're doing and drop their own links and stuff. Get out of town. My followers know. You know, they only watch me. Don't okay. watch anyone else. We've got Poseidon's Watch, The oh, Abyss. Yes. Wait, what was the second one? Uh, the Abyss. The Abyss, I like that. Blissful Night, Poseidon's Fury, Moon Surf, Blissful Night. Should we put a rock in here, guys? Yes or no? Just real quickly. No, I'm going to anyway. Go ahead. Blissful Night. Okay, why did you ask? I don't know. Uh, Interaction. Trinity, Moonlight Beach, Night Wish, Midnight Foam, Indigo Moon. Indigo Moon. Yes. 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 Okay. Sweet. I think it, I think it's for rocks. I don't think that's the name. That's of the name painting. of the painting. Yes. <laughs> that's Moonlight awesome. cascade. There we go. Scrape up all that extra paint. Smiling. Look at this down here, right? You're like, oh no, Josh made a giant mistake. Watch. Moonlight's bliss, nature's beauty, neon beach, relaxed. Relaxed, I like that. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Chip, beach of chill. Right, let's go back beach in here and grab up a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. Chill out, brown. beach. Yeah. <laughs> chill out, beach. You're getting a little bit too crazy. Oh, you know what I wanted to do too? Let's get a little bit of the brown and yellow and white and we'll come over here. Leave dark areas though, right? So lightly. Leave dark areas, you beach. Over here. 
Hello, beach. <laughs> Just in little different areas, connect them at different oh. points, and you got a really cool oh, little rock. That tickled me so much. I thought that was hilarious. There we go. Cool little rock. Awesome little bit of detail for somebody to look at, right? <coughs> Love that. Wicked cool. Now you got to finish it by taking a little bit of our our water line and coming around where you ever where you think the base is. <laughs> right? Finish it up. There we go. Really cool. What if that line connected? <laughs> now? That is looking neat. While London is making her cracking her own self up. Chill out, beach. That's just funny. I All don't right, know that's why. the name. Who, funny. who came up with that? Me. Oh, London. <laughs> we gotta let the fans name it. Oh, we gotta give somebody a shout out for naming it. Yeah, I guess we'll right. have to give London a shout out. You're right. You're right. That's funny. Chill out, beach. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to name it that. Uh, just, just, we'll, we'll shout out. Give me a couple. Just name some of the some of the best ones that you think. Name those people. Give them some shout outs for some of those. Okay, those we've got Tanya, we got Jeremy Clark. Jeremy Clark, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Jeremy, your your hat and apron should be there soon. Steve Dodson said she's having too much fun. Good. Take, take away my fun, you're right. Helen says midnight seas. Jessica, we've got a net bad cock here. Uh, we're also saying there's no sound. How is there no sound? The sound go out on which which platform? Facebook. No! It's been such a good show. Uh, Ocean Twilight. Jackie Carter says, go with it. Go with it. I like, just go with it. That's, yeah. that's one of my favorite movie. Uh, I take inspiration from, I see you take inspiration from Bob Ross. Awesome. Love it from Island. Yes, I uh, learned by watching him, and now I've taught myself everything else. I never took a class, never, I'm not a CRI, but I have the biggest following out of all the CRIs put together. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love you, CRIs. I love all you guys. I just, I don't know. People like me more. That's it. I wish I could be one of you. Maybe one day Bob Ross Incorporated will come to me and say, hey, we want you to work for us because you've got all these followers and uh, we want you to come paint for us and go around and teach people. And I'd be like, I don't know, because my style is a little bit different than Bob's. And I don't know that I want to change my own style, but I would love that opportunity, right? Maybe. We'll see. One day in the future, if it happens, what my response would be. I just want to say very quickly thank you to everybody who tuned in. Really appreciate you hanging out while Josh paints this morning and dedicating your Saturday morning to Josh and watching him paint. Really appreciate that, guys. We definitely do. So, okay, we got the name, right? We've cleaned off all the brushes. We've got the name. It's probably the best name we've ever had for a painting. That's not true. Jeremy Clark with the 99 stars on Facebook. Hey, Jeremy. Hit him with the stars, Jeremy. Ba-boom, stars action. You guys should see how many fan, I got two, four, six, eight, nine fan brushes in rotation right now. I'm using all nine of them, not at once though. Mm. Very cool. What do you guys think of, of the spray? I get a lot of crap talkers, like the new people that see all the reels. And they go, oh, it looks like tree branches. And they go, well, I use the same brush. Yeah, but it also doesn't look anything like tree branches. Right. Like, I use the same brush. Like, I tried to do... What, what have we used today as far as tools? I'm going to show you what we've used. That's like saying the, the clouds look like the, the beach. It's blending. Could, right. Like, it's not the same thing. Let me see. I'm going to show you the tools that we've used today. Because I like doing paintings with minimal tools, right? So we use the filbert brush too because we made the moon. So we've got two fan brushes, a palette knife, we've got our filbert brush, a one and two inch brush, and a liner brush, right? So what's that? Three, seven. Seven tools to make a painting with, what, seven colors actually? No, nine colors. No, eight colors. I, I can't even count. Are you okay? No, I'm not. <laughs> I need to go back to bed and start the day over again. Okay. I woke up late, you guys. I woke up what time did I, like 8.15? Yeah. And we go live at 9, and I'm rolling out of bed at 8.15, going, oh, no, I got to get ready, I got to go do this, I got to make sure the camera, I got to get color on my palette. And then by the time that we turn the show on, I'm still up here liquid clearing because I can never be up here in time, right? Exactly. I can be on time to work, but I can't be on time to this. Hmm. So, okay, let's name it. 
We're going to flip it around. This is painting number 664, I think. I think it's 664. Now I got to double check the last painting here. Hang on. What do we got? How many people do we still got watching, babe? Enough. It is 664. All right, I'm gonna move this so I don't kick the cameras. How many people we got watching? Uh, there are a small, small audience watching on TikTok. We got 80 people watching on Facebook. Sweet. We got 20 people watching on YouTube. <laughs> Eye makeups, because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> All right, so the name of this one is Chill Out, comma beach that's funny right i agree <laughs> chill out beach so tell them where to go babe while i write down all these tell websites. them where to go uh if you guys are interested in purchasing any of jo josh's paintings you can head over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com if you are interested in learning how to paint just like josh you can head over to youtube.com forward slash paint with josh if you want to see photos of artwork or submit your artwork for Josh to either critique or just tell you it's wonderful, head over to facebook.com forward slash paint with Josh. And if you want to see 15 second to three minute videos of Josh doing what he does best, you can head over to tiktok slash, uh, tiktok.com slash at paint with Josh K. Uh, Instagram as well is paint with Josh K. Uh, so if you are interested in just looking at photos or just looking at videos, you know exactly where to go. Also, don't forget that he does sell a ton of other stuff outside of canvases in his Etsy store. If you are interested in hats or bags or cushions or shirts, uh, you can do the support without hanging a canvas on your wall. And if you do not want to spend any money on artwork but you love candles, you can head over to my store, the London Candle Co. Etsy.com and purchase your candles <laughs> over there. I have 32 cents in my store and I guarantee there isn't one that you won't like. There are, like, it, there's so many that you won't be able to just choose one. It's like Pringles. Once you start looking, you'd be like, oh, I need this and I need that one and I gotta have this one. Like, absolutely my most, the, the one that smells like you could most eat it straight out of the jar is Bonkers for Berries. It's like a blueberry cheesecake smell. It is my absolute favorite new smell. And if you're going to buy a candle, get Bonkers for Berries, man. It is the, the sweetest smell. Okay, so painting 664. You guys can find this one in my Etsy shop, like London said. Paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can buy this painting. Also, follow me on YouTube.com slash paintwithjosh and Facebook.com slash paintwithjosh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my. That just snuck out. I am so sorry, ladies. This Red Bull is getting to me. It is getting to me. Look at the reveal. Everybody loves the spin around reveal. Fantastic. So, remember to go over to Etsy.com. Uh, uh, sorry, paintwithjosh.etsy.com, right? You're buying it from paintwithjosh through Etsy.com. And uh, once you get to my store, there's a little search bar. Search for Chill Out Beach or Seascape or something. All of my Seascapes will show up. You can go down and select this one. And uh, it's 30% off with free shipping, tracking info included, all of that stuff. So paintwithjosh.etsy.com. And then again, London was saying if you don't want to, or if you can't afford a painting, and I feel you, I can't afford a painting, okay? That's why I'm up here trying to sell them. So if you can't afford a painting and you still want to support the channel, you can always sign up for the YouTube Super Squad or the Facebook Super Squad where you pay through Facebook and through YouTube to support us that way. You can go to thelondoncandleco.etsy.com, get the most fantastic looking and smelling candles you'll ever smell in your life, guaranteed, or your nose will fall off, okay? I'm telling you. Otherwise, my nose will fall off, right? If it's not the best smelling candle you've ever smelled, my nose is going to pop off. Which will severely decrease your probability. I don't know. Would, I mean, it might. It might. It might for the shallow people, but the people who only watch the hand. It if my true. hand fell off, then the channel's done. We can't do it. That is true. I can't paint left-handed. That's for sure. All right. Well, guys, we love you. We love all the stars. Thank you guys over on Facebook for all the stars. Thank you for all the gifts over on TikTok. Love you guys. YouTube, make sure you've given it the thumbs up. The more thumbs up there are on the video, the more views the video will have. It's correlated that way. Hit that thumbs up button. 
And then make sure you go back and comment whenever the live show is over. That way I can interact with you. I can't respond to the YouTube comments that come in during the live show. It doesn't allow me to go back and write back. So if you're like, Josh never writes back to me, that's because I don't, I can't, I can't physically do it. So go back, rewatch the video again after the stream is over, and then you comment and I'll be able to respond to you. Ask your questions then, right? Um, yeah, well, the puppies need something. What do the poopers want? I have no idea. Is Bailey back home? Boyla, thank you so much for showing up. Really appreciate it. Who's that? Uh, if... Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that follow button, that subscribe button. It's follow me February. Uh, Claire is asking how they get to your Amazon wish list. They are watching on Facebook. On Facebook. I, yeah, when I post, I'm going to post the picture, right? And uh, then I'll post the link tree. The link, it should be in the description at the very bottom. It should be somewhere. Yeah. Um, if not, I'll, when I, as soon as I post this, then uh, I'll post our link tree link that has... The Amazon supply store where you can buy all the supplies. The Amazon wish list where you can send me stuff. Speaking of which, guys, like, thank you for bringing that up. I'm, like, almost out of yellow. How am I going to do a seascape without yellow? I have nearly no more black left. Jonathan just sent me this black uh, about, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. It's almost all gone. My blue, the white. We always need white. We always need black. We always need blue and crimson and phthalo green. So if you guys could go to my Amazon wish list and help me, uh, I can create more awesome free paintings for you, right? Oh, I thought you were doing that. No, I would. Like a feel. Like a feel. Um, so yeah, if you guys help me, the more you guys support us, you don't have to buy paintings. You oh, can go Cla through the... Class, I would like to get you some paint. Oh, that's awesome. I, I would very much appreciate that. Josh, so Josh will include his link tree as soon as he posts this painting yep. up on Facebook. It'll be up there probably within 30 minutes. Oh, definitely. And then when you see it, like... You click on the link tree, and it'll have a bunch of different little tabs, and one of them says Amazon Wishlist. And you click on that one, and that's got all the stuff that I like to use, and, you know, got an easel. It's got, there's, a, there's a new easel that I would like that has two, it's got the capability to hold two canvases at once. And then we could do double paintings with the same colors, that's, which would be sounds, super cool. That sounds like a recipe for backache. Yeah, right? <laughs> we're doing, hang on, we're doing squats over here, ladies. Let's do our squats, and we're going to paint down here and up here. My legs are already hurting. So there are two There are two different Amazon stores when you do visit Josh's link tree. One is the products that come directly from Amazon to your house. These are supplies that Josh uses within the store. So paints, easels, canvases, anything along those lines, gloves, uh, anything that you would possibly need. The other one is the Amazon wish list. They are things that are on Josh's wish list that he needs to paint. And if you purchase those, they will come to our house in Las Vegas. And they don't, we don't get your address. No. And you don't get our address. It comes straight through Amazon. Amazon holds the key to everything, right? So Correct. That way, you don't have to worry about sending me something and then me knowing your address. Like It just I says Amazon I, on it. Right. I don't want to know your address. Um, I got too much crap to think about all the time. Funnily enough, that's backfired numerous times because we will get a gift and someone won't include a gift receipt. And then and we so don't know who it's from. Yeah, so because the box says it came from Amazon, it's like a mystery gift. Yeah. And we don't know who sent it. I'm like, guys, so. <laughs> uh, I got a new set of Gap Doctor brushes, but it didn't say from, you know, Nicole. Like, Nicole sent us some, Jackie sent us some. So please make sure that you enter in information <laughs> on that gift. When it says enter as a gift, you can write your name, you could write a username, whatever it is that you want to do. These are those Gak Doctor brushes. By the way, seven brushes for $10. They're over on Amazon, and I love these. I always burn through them, so send me these, send me paint, send me everything. Everything. And you can get everything, like Josh, what I was saying. Sorry. Say goodbye. <laughs> what? Am I being annoying? No. Just... Oh. Is it, too, is it late? Is it no. Late? Okay. Are we done? Are we? I, I would imagine. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well, uh, I love you guys. We This is like the fourth time we've said goodbye. Um, yeah, so. Hence the reason why I said say goodbye. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love you guys. Take care. I can't wait to see your versions. Send them into facebook.com slash paintwithjosh. And until we see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. And bye-bye. Oh,